I just made a working LEGO Minecraft minecart with TNT that runs on powered rails, straight and curved rails, and one more special rail that's key for a big boom. The minecart looks uber realistic, and it even speeds up on powered rails and slows down on normal rails. There's also a camera mount, so you'll get a first person view of riding in the minecart. You just won't want to be in the minecart when it explodes. I placed rails all over my house so you can see it in action. Here's how this build went down a week ago. I'm going to start by creating a rail for the minecart that mimics this one from the game. This rail has some issues. It's 16 studs wide instead of 14, has stability problems, and turning is going to be tricky. I'll try adding gear racks to these hinged pieces. Yeah, no way that's going to work, so let me think. Way back in 2006, I bought a LEGO City train set that had these rails. They snap together like this and have wheels that ride along the rails. It even had a motor that fits perfectly on the rails. Now we're on to something. Making the rail 14 studs wide is a good start. So I'll build a ton of these, literally a ton, to extend the rail width. Then, of course, I'll tile it off to make it look accurate to the game. Yep, that'll do. I'll get to work building a bunch of these. Of course, the powered rail and the special rail are just modified versions of this rail. I will remove the dark tan tiles from the center and replace them with yellow tiles that run the length of the rail and red and dark tan tiles down the middle. Next, I'll build the frame and walls of the minecart. The minecart is 16 by 20 by 10 pixels with this cool pattern on it. So here goes my attempt with Lego. Looking good. And here's a second one. The other wall is a little different, but not much. And two of those. Now we have the four Minecraft walls, so I'll build a frame next, with this train motor as part of it. I'll connect the wire and give it a test. Whoa, too fast. And now slowly on the rails, super smooth. How about a longer set of rails? Perfect. I do want to keep the motor centered, so I'll add these. I also removed the battery cover because this little part hits it. Looks like those changes cause no harm. I'll add a color sensor to detect powered rails. I'm going to get this thing looking like a minecart now by adding those sweet walls from earlier. To do that, I'll need to build a frame and some kind of interface between these Technic parts and normal LEGO plates. Lastly, I'll wire up the color sensor before adding the walls. Wow, those walls look so good, but the minecart isn't finished yet. I still need to add the TNT to make this thing really smoking. That shouldn't be too hard. I'll set up a base that fits into the top of the minecart. Now I gotta make sure to have TNT shown on the side. This is really coming together. Here's the moment of truth. Will it fit? Yes, let's go. Now I just need to program this to act like a minecart. We'll put some code here, a little code there, and done. So I need to make sure this behaves correctly on both powered and normal rails. Normal behavior looks like this. When going over a powered rail, the minecart will accelerate, but without enough powered rails, the minecart will eventually stop. So let's see how this Lego minecart handles it. Awesome, the minecart will stop without enough powered rails. And now I'll test again with more powered rails. Yes, it accelerates over the powered rails. I'm laying a ton of rails around my house right now. I even put rails outside. Well, outside didn't work out so well. Hey, you wanted to see this explode, right? Ooh, eh, how about one more time in slow motion? Ouch. Yeah, I'm going to avoid outside, but I'll continue laying rail around the house. There, the rails are all set. It's time to take a ride. You'll hear a countdown, which is for placing the TNT lid. Here it goes. Whew, that was fun. I'm gonna back that up a second. Now's a good time for me to tell you about this and this. The special type of rail I built is called an activator rail. It's used to prime a TNT minecart, which causes the TNT to explode. I built it just like a powered rail, except for red tiles down the sides instead of yellow. And this is a redstone block, which has two purposes. Most importantly, in Minecraft, it powers the activator rail, and it also stops the minecart at exactly the place we want, which of course is right inside Steve's house. Building it in Lego took a lot of red pieces, so I made mine hollow. Now that we know about those two items, take a look at this scene again. Here's a real house, and here's Steve's little Minecraft house. Steve, can you point out the similarities? Oh, sure thing. Well, let's see. Bed. Rails. Prime TNT minecart. Wait, Prime TNT minecart? Well, Steve just keeps dying. First from the working Lego zombie spawner, and now this? Poor guy. It would help me a ton if you could share this video. Check out my other ones too. Thanks for watching.